Hi Ledger. In today's video, we're diving into Excel for accountants with a practical step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a trial balance and a ledger in Excel. Whether you're a student or a professional, this guide is designed to help you save time, streamline your process, and stay organized. Let's jump right in. For the first step, Clean and structure your data. To get it started, ensure your data is organized and easy to work with. Highlight your journal entries that includes your headers like the date, the account code, account titles, descriptions, debit, and the credit. Press Ctrl T to convert your data into table. Make sure to check the box that says My Table Has Headers and click OK. Using the table format will make it easier to filter, sort, and format data, laying the foundation for an efficient workflow. Now let's create a trial balance using Pivot Table. Click anywhere inside your table. Go to Insert tab. Then press Pivot Table. It's recommended to place the Pivot Table in New Worksheet. Then click OK. In the Pivot Table field list, do the following. Drag the account titles into the rows, the debit and the credit into the values. Ensure both the debit and the credit are set to sum by right-clicking this one, Value Field Settings, then choose Sum, then click OK. And there you have it. Your trial balance framework is ready. Let's make the trial balance clearer and more professional. Rename headers by double-clicking Sum of Debit and Sum of Credit to simply debit and credit. I will just be replacing the sum of to a space. Hit enter. Highlight the sum of, then press space. Then hit enter. Replace row levels with account titles. Now you have a polished and easy to read trial balance. Let us rename this one. Now let us transform the trial balance into a ledger. To enhance your trial balance and create a ledger, copy the pivot table to a new worksheet. So to do this, right-click the worksheet tab, choose Move or Copy, and check Create a copy checkbox, then click OK. Let us rename it to Ledger. Add more details to the pivot table. Right anywhere in the pivot table, right mouse click, and then select the show field list. Drug category above the account titles. Let us also drag the date just below the account titles. Well, I just will be removing the, the month and the days because we do not need them. 
Then, we'll be dragging the description just below the date. So, it looks like this. To keep your ledger a clean and professional appearance, go to Design tab, Report Layout, Show in Tabular Form. Let us remove unnecessary subtotals. We do not need the subtotal for date. Okay, write any subtotal. Right mouse click, then click or uncheck the subtotal date. We don't also need the subtotal for account titles. So let us click any subtotal. Right mouse click, then uncheck this subtotal account titles. Add dy dynamic tools to enhance usability. Add slicers for quick filtering. Click anywhere in the FIBO table. Go to Insert. In the Filters group, select Slicer. So let us insert Category as our Slicer, then click OK. So just position the slicer beside your table for easy access. Add timeline for date filtering. Click that, uh, the date in the pivot table. Go to insert. And in the filters group, select timeline. Choose the date field to create a timeline that lets you filter transactions by months, quarters, or custom date ranges. This enhancement make your ledger both dynamic and user-friendly. And that's it, Kaledger. With just few steps, you've created a polished professional trial balance and ledger using Microsoft Excel. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your network, and subscribe for more Excel and accounting tips. See you in the next video.